everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace designers to use on their clients' websites. Today, we're going to talk more about Squarespace SEO. The other day, I was working with a client, and they had said that you know they did all of the SEO practices that they could ever find in any guide ever, and they still were not ranking. And so they were like, my Squarespace SEO is not working. And I thought that this is probably a common problem that people are having. They've done all of the strategies and they're not sure why they're not ranking in Google. And so I want to talk to you about the three things you can do to figure out why. Before we get started on those three things, there's two blog posts that I want you to check out. This first blog post um, I wrote for SEO beginners. Um, and it's a beginner's guide to SEO. It's in 2021, but most of the strategies are fairly common still today in 2022. And even if you're not a beginner, I suggest going through this guide just to make sure you haven't forgotten anything um, or a certain strategy has kind of gone to the wayside that you could be optimizing your site for more. The particular client I was talking about before um, wasn't tagging their blog posts, which is why their blog posts were not rising up. And so there may be a strategy that you think you know, you think you got it all down and you've forgotten about one particular thing. Um, so my first uh, suggestion is to go through this beginner's guide and make sure that you've done all of the strategies um, that are sort of the basic steps in SEO. The second blog post is about the four top ranking factors for Google in 2022. So I suggest going through these steps and making sure you've done all of these. So if you've gone through, you've done all of the things um, and it's still not working, here are three things that you can do. The first thing is to give it time. When somebody comes to me and says their SEO is not working, the very first question I ask them is how long has your site been live? As frustrating as that question is, SEO does take time. It's possible that Google hasn't had time to find your site yet. It also takes time to kind of build up trust with search engines and kind of get to a competitive level to the other people you're competing on those keywords for. So on average, it can take anywhere from four to 12 months to see results. This really depends on the amount of competition that your website has. So if you are, Kind of in a low target area, there's not a lot of competition and you have all of the strategies you can in place, you can see results in about four to six months. But if you are in like a highly competitive industry or the words that you are trying to rank for have a lot of competition, um, then it's going to take even longer. It can take 12 months. Okay, so if your website is fairly new, it's possible that your SEO is working. You just need time to let it kind of build up steam before you can rank on that first page. Okay, if your site has been around for a while and you're still not seeing results, then we need to make sure that your site is being indexed. So Google uses these sort of web crawlers that are constantly exploring the web to find new sites. Um, and usually this happens automatically, but it's possible that your site has been missed. So we wanna make sure that your site is being indexed. So what you're going to do is go to Google and type in site colon and then your domain name. And search and you should see your homepage and a bunch of other pages kind of come up here um, you can ignore this top one that is a promotion it's an ad um, essentially by Google uh, so if you are seeing your site come up then that means your site is being indexed by Google it is showing up on Google it's not showing up within the first few pages if your um, link does not come up in here at all then it is not finding it on Google, it's not indexed at all. And so what you need to do is make sure you get a Google console account um, and submit your sitemap. And I do have another blog post on how to submit a sitemap in Google Search Console here, but Google Search Console will force Google to index your site and crawl your site. And then it will also show you any critical issues. So, um, Let's say your site wasn't missed and you have some sort of error that's making it difficult for 
Google to crawl your site or that it's thinking your site is not a legitimate site or something like that, it will tell you on Google Search Console what the issue is and then you can take steps to improve it from there. Okay, so if your site has been around for a while and you're not seeing any SEO results, check the indexing. If it shows up, you know it is indexing and that you need to, um, that you're missing some sort of strategy to help you rank higher. Um, if it's not indexing, make sure that you get a Google Search Console account, submit your sitemap and force it to crawl and see if there's any sort of errors that are popping up. If you have done all of that and SEO is still not working, then you are on to the hire an expert stage. If your site is more than a year old, you've followed all of the SEO things you could possibly think of, you know Google is indexing your site, Google Search Console isn't showing any issues, you're still not showing up in searches, this is where you need to hire an expert because at this point, any generic advice and steps that I give you, it's not gonna work for you. There's obviously something specific that um, we need to talk about in your particular industry for your site and analyze it to see what's going on. Of course, I would be happy to help you with this during a one-to-one -one help session. These are an hour long and we can go through, I can check all of your SEO basics and see uh, what's going on, if there's anything that I can find and any advice I can give you to help you uh, move up the ranks. However, if you would like somebody to do a deep dive into your SEO, um, as person that that's their, their thing is SEO specifically, then you can hire a Squarespace SEO specialist and you can find that on the link here. So that is it for today. If you like this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are on my blog, then make sure you sign up for my freebie here so that you can be notified when another tutorial is posted. Until then, that is three things you can do if your Squarespace SEO is not working.